Hello, everyone and fellow cleaning enthusiasts. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm Renee, and I clean, declutter, and organize my followers' homes for free. Today, I'm on a mission to declutter a basement, and we're going to make this space sparkle. The homeowner had a basement full of stuff they didn't need, so it's time to clear the clutter and get organized. Plus, I'm stepping up my DIY game by building not one, not two, but four racks. So let's do this. For all of those who are curious about the racks, you can discover them at your local Home Depot store, not sponsored. For all the nitty gritty details, just take a peek at the link I've left in the description below. I won't bore you with assembling all four racks. We'll tackle one and make it look amazing. I'm basically playing leg count Jenga here, making sure the shelf is steady as a rock. I'm counting the hash marks on each leg, which ensures a level and steady shelf. Adding wheels to these shelves is like giving them their own set of roller skates, making them a breeze to move them wherever they please. First things first, I'm kicking off by clearing out the obvious trash. The homeowner who is off camera is giving me the lowdown on what to do with each item. Teamwork in action. Our mission was to make a path all the way to the back wall, creating the perfect spot to store those racks. As you see me move the boxes off camera, the homeowner is going through them. I understand how overwhelming this task can be to clean a basement, so I wanted to share some helpful tips and strategies to make it easier for you. Whether you want to free up space or simply get rid of unnecessary items, I hope this video will help you. First, I recommend taking everything out of your basement and grouping it together by category. This will give you a better sense of what you have and it'll make it easier to identify items that you no longer need. All of these empty containers were donated. As you sort through your items, make sure you dispose of any broken or damaged items as they're only taking up valuable space. And of course you saw me put together some quality storage solutions to keep their remaining items organized and easy to find. We're not stopping at extra containers. We're going the extra mile to clean them out and send them off to donations. Double the goodness. First rack being wheeled in. This jet setting family needed a spot to stash their luggage, keeping it off the chilly cement floor. Once everything is sorted, put the items to be kept back in an organized manner. Store similar items together and use clear bins to help see what's inside without having to sift through everything. Don't worry, I'll be moving this luggage one more time because I don't like how it is. Look, more empty plastic containers. Not only this shelf, but also the container will find a new home through donation. Share in the love. One more empty container. Okay. 
This is a beautiful desk in the back corner that was taken apart and will also go to donation. The homeowner is holding on to these empty boxes because they belong to some of their electronics. I'm getting my measuring tape out to size up the suitcases to ensure they snug fitly into the racks. Then we'll shift the shelves to make everything fit like a puzzle. Well, maybe. It's like playing a game of suitcase Jenga, trying to make them all fit perfectly. They found more suitcases upstairs. Time to get the hammer out and readjust the shelf. Every single one of these screens has decided to rebel and it doesn't fit in their windows anymore. It's like they've outgrown their homes. These will all be donated.
These speakers have a one-way ticket to the electronic party in the next room. These shingles are like the heavyweight champions of the basement, and I've decided to avoid the wrestling match with them. And here comes rack number three, ready to join the storage party. The golden rule remains, light stuff goes on top, it's the best way to keep things in balance. I'm so glad I could help this family. In a jiffy, I adjusted the shelf height to make room for those boxes. Flexibility is the name of the game. This was a quick declutter. I walked three miles, or 6,708 steps, 16 flights of steps, and burned off 354 calories. Finally, take all items to be donated or thrown away out of the area immediately. Don't let them sit around for too long or they'll just add to the clutter. By following these tips, you'll be able to declutter your basement in no time and feel more organized and in control of your space. I know I said light stuff on top, but that was the only place I could put the Christmas tree. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Keep decluttering and stay tuned for more. See you next time.